35-year-old Patience Buedu had no intention of becoming a cobbler. Initially, Patience had been married to a cobbler who sadly passed away. After her husband's death, she took over his business and is excelling in the male-dominated profession while catering for her two children. As Ghana joins the world to celebrate the role of a woman in society, Jocelyn Wood visited patients and has come through with this report. Patients used to be a cleaner at a firm here in Accra. Occasionally, she would assist her husband in her free time men's shoes. After the death of her husband in 2014, she was compelled to quit her job due to low remuneration. With her two children and no support, she braced up, turned a deaf ear to public opinions, and perfected the act of shoemaking. For now, she lives at Adenton, but operates a makeshift shop at Kanda, where clients are offered excellent service in shoemaking. Patience Boedi says she has no regrets and enjoyed every bit of the journey to become a cobbler. Occasionally, some clients doubt her abilities, but her work always leaves them dumbfounded. The business is profitable. I am able to take care of my kids. Sometimes I get hundreds of this when the business is good. Some clients are always surprised to see a female Initially cobbler. when I brought my shoe, I thought she could not do it, but to my surprise, she worked on them perfectly. Currently, she does not have any apprentice or support staff and does shoe repairs manually. She entreated the public to support her with some machines to enable her work faster to meet tight deadlines for her numerous clients. Patients encouraged women to challenge their status quo by venturing into male-dominated professions. Patients Boedi is a living example that career choices should not be influenced by gender and looks forward to seeing more women cobblers. <laughs>